we are all traveling this same road. And soon and very soon, we will meet you in the glory of your presence. So now, God, we seek strength and comfort. Keep us, Lord, hopeful as we move, live, and have our being in you. We thank you for Jesus allowing him to come and die for our sin. Bless us this moment, Lord, to be present. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We shall now receive scripture readings by Reverend Green. The reading of the Old Testament scripture. The 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The New Testament reading from 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 50th verse. Now I say this, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, in the la at the last trump, trump, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. The Lord has blessed and is written. going to receive the acknowledgments and believe the reader. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Lord. Yes. New Times Resolution. New Times Missionary Baptist Church Resolution of Love and Respect for Terry Robinson Sr. We, the member of New Times Missionary Baptist Church, embrace and mourn with the Robinson and Shaw family as we bid farewell to a husband, father, brother, uncle, grandfather, great father, great father, and friend, a man of faith, a believer, and our friend, Brother Terry Robinson. Whereas Terry Robinson professed a hope of Christ and knowledge him as a young, as his Lord and Savior, whereas Terry Robinson joined the New Zion Missionary Baptist Church and moving to Greensboro after his retirement, whereas Terry Robinson spread joy, laughter, and his sense of humor wherever he went. Whereas Terry Robinson served God, country, community, faithfully, and well. Be it resolved that we vow in hum humble submission to God. We never make a mistake, who never make a mistake, forgive me, and we remember you to be encouraged and remind you to be encouraged too. Though we cannot replace Brother Robinson, we will do our best to emulate and demonstrate through our actions and deeds the legacy that he has left for us to follow. Rest in heaven, our brother, till we meet again. Humbly submitted this 1st of April, 2021, New Zion Missionary Baptist Church, Greensboro, North Carolina,
always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. And certainly, uh, I want to take just a few words from that text uh, to say that this is a God is able law. Uh, death is never easy. And I want to certainly acknowledge uh, wife and family. Um, I want to acknowledge uh, the brother, I understand, uh, who's here, and Karen, and others uh, who are members of the family. Uh, we acknowledge your presence, and uh, the New Zion Research Baptist Church certainly uh, mourns with you. Uh, I can remember uh, Terry, uh, the Terry moments that come to mind. Uh, number one is that he was very opinionated, <laughs> and he believed what he believed, and if he was fixed in on any particular thing, then that was the way he saw it, and there was no change. And uh, so in Bible study, you know, we had begun to get used to uh, his comments and uh, his opinions and theological presuppositions uh, and we really enjoyed it. Um, when I think about him, I think about a kind of radiant smile uh, that he always had and we appreciated uh, the way he made people feel around him. Um, and uh, that's uh, kind of what the Lord does for us. Uh, his presence gives us unusual comfort in difficult times. And this is indeed a difficult time. Uh, but God is able. Uh, he's able in every situation, in every circumstance. And so most of us are uh, gathered, have faced at one time or another very difficult times. And if you haven't by chance, just keep on living. Yeah, your time will surely come. Uh, no matter how old you are, uh, there's coming a time when you're going to have to meet the Lord. And uh, you can, I often say this in funerals, um, no matter how many pills you take, uh, how much exercising you do, how many doctor's appointments you keep, uh, doesn't matter how much weave you take in and take out. Uh, <laughs> about any of that, when the Lord gets ready, uh, we all going to have to move. Amen. So when we face the uncertainties of life, it's just good to know that God is able. Number one, uh, God is able to make a way. Uh, now, I say that out of experience. I've lived long enough to know that he meets us at the point of our inability to perform. Amen. And Terry understood some very fundamental things about God and what he does in our lives. He's unmoving, he's unflinching. Uh, we can't hurry God. The songwriter said sometimes we just gotta wait, no matter how long it takes. God all by himself. Amen. And the problem comes when we try to help God, uh, be God. Uh, that's when we really run into problems. Because he's God all by himself. Yes. And it has been my experience that he doesn't need my help. I need his help. So I wish I had a witness in here. Uh, it's cool, but God is still able, number one, to make a way. And God is able to restore lost hopes. Yeah. We've been yeah. through COVID. We've been through some rough times. Yeah. Times that I never thought that I would see in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. But God is a restorer of hope. Mm -hmm. uh, and death brings about a strange reality in our lives. Yeah. We're suddenly uh, thrust into a dark, uh, spiraling, endless grief. Uh, but God is able to restore lost souls. Number one, uh, he does it through his
his son Jesus, yes, who walked through death. We're going to celebrate him Sunday. Uh, because he walked through death, came out on the other side, yeah. unscathed and unharmed. Uh -huh. So we gain our hope in resurrection life and power. Resurrection power simply says that I get more power coming up out of my situation than I had going down. So we're going to celebrate, and we can celebrate this moment because death is not the end. Oh, there are some finalities about death. Looks like the end, uh, but this is just simply the house. This is the tenement of time. This is the tissue place that we reside. People know us. Uh, by our house. Uh, but there's coming a time mm -hmm. when we have to stand before the Lord. Uh, we're going to have to give up this old tissue body. Yeah. Uh, it's going back to the dust. Right. Yeah, but the real essence of who we are was go back, if you know him, to the God who made you. Uh, so that uh, uh, he's able to restore lost hopes. And uh, lastly, uh, he's able to do all things. There's nothing that God can't do. Uh, I know you've lived long enough to know that. And Terry understood those fundamental things. That God is able to do all things. So uh, we uh, are going to take just these few moments. we got another, I think, uh, person, another family coming in. But we just wanted to share those things that God is able. And I know he's able out of my experience. And he, he will give you confident and hope uh, when hope has been ripped from the heart. Amen. God sustains us through our lonely hours. Uh, yeah, he reminds us that we are never alone. Even though it looks like you are alone, there is a divine presence. We've gone through social isolation. Uh, we've had people that you know uh, who live alone uh, and couldn't come out. Uh, but I remind them that you are never alone. Amen. God is a very present help, mm -hmm. and he'll be there for your family. We love you. Uh, may God bless and keep you. Amen. Amen. For as much as it is pleased, Almighty God, it is wise providence to take out of the world the soul of our deceased brother. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for that general resurrection in the last day in the life of the world to come. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in whose second coming, in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the mighty workings whereby he's able to do all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, right from henceforth, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, even so saith the Spirit, for they rest from their labor. God, we are so thankful for this personality whom we celebrate today. We're thankful, Lord, for his contributions in this life. Yes. We pray, oh God, that the family will be comforted beyond measure. Give them renewed hope that death is not the end, but a glorious beginning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, family. Have a smile apart. To the Robinson family, speaking on behalf of Charles E. Coop Jr. and all staff at Kevin Brown Services, please accept a personal thank you for allowing us to assist in the homegrown celebration. Brother Kevin Robinson, this is our honor that this great family chose us to serve. This service is now complete.